obviously probate is expensive and lengthy mm -hmm. and we want to avoid it as much as possible. Yes. So tell me about the four things that will cause our estate to go to probate. Yeah, this is so important. So the things that you want to make sure you've got in check are well, actually, I'm going to say five things. Um, if you're a business owner, there are five things. So the very first thing is if you have minor children and you pass away without a plan in place or with only a will, your children must go before the court and the judge will ultimately determine who is going to become the legal guardian of your children. The second is creditors. Basically, everybody has a creditor these days. Okay, so if you've got a creditor, a creditor can make a claim against the estate and say we are owed X amount of money. So that's number two. So a creditor is anybody that we anybody. owe money to. So the anybody. mortgage company, yes. credit card companies. Yep. Got it. Absolutely. So the third is going to be if you have total assets in excess of $75,000. And now that's a small amount of money when you consider you can't really buy a home in most parts of the US for less than $75,000. And your home, whether it's mortgaged or not, counts against that amount, that threshold amount of 75,000. That will create a probatable scenario. The fourth is real estate. Even if you inherit one one hundredth interest in hunting land in Northern Minnesota, <laughs> they don't care if the value of that land is $800 or less. Any interest in real estate whatsoever, including your home, creates a probate scenario. The final are business interests that have not been titled to go into something else, like a trust. Any vendor, any business partner, any client can come up and bring a claim against the estate. A client of a business can bring a claim? Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's a little frightening. I see this most often with professionals. So like doc physicians, mm -hmm. dentists, mm -hmm. chiropractors, They have lawyers. patients who bring claims against their estate? Absolutely. Why? For, for like, they, they want to get money back from... They well, they'll claim malpractice or they'll oh. claim something went wrong. They were promised something. They didn't get it. They were promised an outcome. They didn't achieve the results. And then they'll go after the estate. Wow. That's most commonly how I see that. 